Now, at what stage of a transaction is a due diligence ordered? Okay, when will you ask for a due diligence? When will the buy side say that okay, now it is time to do a due diligence? When is the right time to do a due diligence? After signing the term sheet. So the term sheet is an initial agreement which is non-binding usually, mostly like it's it has some binding clauses, but mostly non-binding. But it has a basic agreement on the investment, right? So the idea is that once the term sheet is signed, then the uh, then you proceed to due diligence, and if due diligence works out, then the investment will go through, right? After signing the term sheet, if the due diligence goes through, I mean not, there is nothing horrible that comes out in the in the deal uh, in the due diligence, then the investor will put in money. What is a term sheet? It is a summary it's a summary of key commercials between the parties maybe some legal terms and conditions also that they agree on so for example the valuation of the company so initial valuation of the company so you know the final valuation may be different because after the due diligence the valuation may go down because of certain problems but initially a ballpark valuation is agreed between the parties okay and this is a contract that they sign it is mostly non-binding except certain clauses are binding in the MOU, not MOU, sorry, in the term sheet. And this is a term sheet which is very important to sign. A initial level of negotiation happens before the term sheet is signed. Usually it is about the valuation, about the deal structure and all of that. So the deal structure is recorded in the term sheet and the commercials of the deal are recorded. The final terms and conditions will be negotiated in a shareholder agreement or a share subscription agreement or a share purchase agreement. But the term sheet is not a very long document. It's a short document, bullet points. And it is it has some legal validity also. And it captures the key understanding of the parties. Okay. Is it for a certain period of time? Yes. Usually it will be a time-bound thing that if the transaction doesn't closes within a certain period of time, the term sheet will lapse. Okay. But usually if you give a term sheet to a company and it you, you let it lapse and you don't close that, the company will be very angry because this is not, not how it works. You are giving term sheet only when you are satisfied that you want to invest in the company. And only if there is some horrible problem in the due diligence that some really dirty things come up, some really problematic red flags that we want to talk about come up, then only you are supposed to back out. Otherwise, you don't back out. If you back out, it is really, really bad. It is not supposed to be done like that.